Hey guys, welcome to episode number 24 of Duel Night. I'm very excited for this episode because we got Strike of Neils. Six Samurais are gonna be first introduced in this set. But before we begin, a huge shout outs to all our Patreon members. Without your support, Duel Night will not be where it's at today. For those of you who want early access to all Duel Night episodes, exclusive access to behind the scene content, ultimate losers match, best two out of three finals, and so much more, be sure to check out the Patreon in the link down below. Again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for supporting Duel Night. And guys, tonight, 9 p.m. EST at TX1.com. The official, the very first official Duel Night deck box and collection will be available at TX1.com, 9 p.m. EST tonight. Guys, it's gonna be insane. I cannot wait to catch all of you guys on the live stream. All right, guys, save the time. 9 p.m. EST today, Duel Night collection and the deck box is dropping at TX1.com. Let's begin. Welcome to Duel Night. This is a brand new draft series where four players take their deck building and dueling skills to the next level. It goes like this. The set for every episode will be divided into four piles. One for each player to draft a single card from and switching piles afterwards until there are no more cards left to draft. Each duelist comes up with a 40 card deck using their drafted cards, dueling one another in a best of one. The winners of each duel will proceed to the finals, battling for the title of champion. The deck box continuously builds as each set progresses, adding the best cards from previous sets to the arsenal. Watch as the four of us duel it off to see who can become the master of Duel Knight. Let's begin. Strike of Neils. You guys already know we cannot start a Duel Knight episode without taking a deep dive into the history of every single set. Without further ado, Let's roll the intro. In the farthest reaches of a dystopian world, a thick, vile smog shrouds an enemy of malevolent denizens. The nefarious Rainbow has seized control of the Dark World with an unholy strength and new tactics for discarding. The Dark World will not stop until our world is in ruins. But hope is not lost thanks to the strike of Neos. Swarms of heroes and Neospatians flock to the front lines. Neos fuses energy from birds, plants, and the Earth to hold off hordes of horrors. Unlikely allies are found in a drove of duplicating drones. Gadget monsters embody quantity over quality, as each gadget ensures another mechanical minion will soon enter the fray. The final protectors of our world are noble mercenaries, executing the commands of the great shogun Shi En. The six samurais are cunning warriors that excel in tag team tactics that are sure to terminate any invader. Can our realm stand its own against the flagitious fiends? Find out this episode of Duel Night. Get your game on! We are back with another episode, fresh off of victory! Let's get it. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Let's get it. What's up, guys? I'm back. I need redemption. I lost in the previous episode. I'm here to get back in that winner's column, in that winner's conversation. Let's go! All right. Another episode of Duel Nights. Time to make up for that embarrassing show of last week. And this time, I'm back with another one of my favorite cards. Last time I used a card as close to my heart, I won an entire episode, Blue Eye Shining Dragon. Now we got one of my other favorites of all time, Fortress Whale. Card is not very good, but Shining Dragon wasn't either, so time to turn it into a rock star. Strike of Neos. Guys, if I don't win this episode, I'm just probably the worst duelist in the entire world. You're a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. Strike of Neos is the debut of Six Samurais, and you know, your boy, Team Samurai X1, you know, Six Samurais, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, I have to win, you know what I'm saying? 
If I don't win, then what am I? The Godfather of Games, Skippy. Anyways, I'm very excited for today's episode. It's gonna be absolutely hype. I can't wait to get drafting because Grandmaster the Six Samurai, you're mine. Let's go. Strike of Truth Gaming. Okay, nice. Okay, all right, guys, good luck. Good luck on the drafts. You guys, good luck because you guys are gonna need it. Really? I won the last one. Yeah. All right, guys, let the draft begin. So we just finished drafting, Strike of Neos. How are you guys feeling? Sue, how are you feeling? I'm excited. You excited? I guess. Jesse? I got a cool deck. You got a cool deck? Really? Yeah. Steven, how about you? What's the Strike of something? What's it called? Strike of Neos. Oh, Strike, how are you down today? My deck's the same. Honestly, guys, I'm very excited for this draft. This draft was absolutely amazing. Guys, under here, two Aeroneoses, two Glomoses. Whoever matches gets to face each other. You guys ready? Yes. Yeah, two, three. <laughs> Two, three! Ah! <laughs> Amazing Sam! You're going down, Sue! Alright. Get your game on! I'm facing Sue! Sue! I'm facing Sue. No comment, he sucks. You guys already know the drill, you know, Sam and I grew up together, so we've been dueling probably over a million times. Uh, if I'm gonna be honest, I've won all of our matches at home. He won't admit that, but you know what? It's the truth. Sam, I am gonna destroy you. All right, a rematch for Steven here. Just played literally the last match, was uh, the finals. Just gotta get my rematch here. You know, use the fortress wheel, drown him under all this pressure. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. We play each other quite often. Last time, I saw him in the finals. This time, it's gonna be the same thing. Except instead of beating him in the finals, I'm gonna... It's garbage day today, and I'm taking out the garbage. Let's go. All right, guys, we just finished drafting, and you guys already know what I built, and I have the best recipe for destruction. Here is my deck list. So you guys see right now I'm playing the classic Six Samurais and huge shout outs to House of Champs, AKA Jonathan Moore. I built this deck to honor Jonathan Moore, the SJC champion who played Six Samurais back in the day. So my deck list is actually very similar to his SJC deck list. You guys see we got Great Shogun, we got Grandmaster, and the idea behind this deck is to utilize the power of Yashi, the Six Samurai. This card right here is basically a walking MST. It is not a hard once per effect, but can utilize the effect multiple times in one turn. Guys, I win the duel. What's really interesting about my deck is that I'm also playing Reasoning. Reasoning is actually very powerful because it works really well with Grandmaster and also Great Children Machine. It ensures that I get an additional body on the board so that way that's easier to special summon Grandmaster and it's also easier to special summon Great Shogun Shein. All my six my monsters are very, very powerful and combine itself with power spells and a lot of power traps like Solemn Judgment. My deck cannot lose today. All I need is one six my monster and a Grandmaster and those two cards will carry me to victory. Here we go. All right, guys, I just drafted my deck. Here is my deck list. I built, once again, a Dark World deck. A few episodes ago, I actually won with the Dark World deck. So of course, it just felt right to build it again. My deck consists of mostly Dark World monsters. We got the golds, we got the silvers, the brows, the bronze, and then of course, I would say what's special about my deck today is we have Dark World dealing a new spell card in this Strike of Neo set. This card allows both players to draw one card and then discard one card, but of course, this helps me out a lot because when I discard my Dark World monsters like gold or silver, they can automatically be special summoned to the field. So of course, I draw a card and summon a monster for free. Another special spell card I have is Drag Down Into The Grave. I have three of these cards in my deck where I can look at my opponent's hand and he can look at my hand. But what's special is that we can both discard a card from each other's hand, but for me, if my opponent is discarding my Dark World monsters, oh boy, my effects are coming off. My best cards are Snatch Steel, Card Destruction, and Heavy Storm. Card Destruction is gonna be my best card in my deck. If I can, of course, discard my hand, my Dark World Monsters effects will go into play. So that's gonna be my strategy today. Get my spell cards to, of course, discard my monster cards and activate their special super power effects. Dark Worlds, I'm ready to go back at it again. Draft is finished, here's the deck. No surprise, not a single person who went for Fortress Whale. So, deck's all mine. 
we got Fortress Whale, Neospatians. So this one's a little more complicated than the last deck. Similar to how I wanted to load my graveyard with Future Fusion, Advanced Ritual Art does kind of the same thing. I special summon a Ritual Monster from my hand, and I tribute the monsters from my deck instead, as long as the normal monsters. And the levels also have to be exact. Luckily, Neos and Fortress Whale both seven, so that's easy right there. Now, that means I get the Whale Online super easy with one less card, enough to tribute from the hand, and I'm fulfilling my graveyard with the Neos, I can use every normal summon Reborn card in the game. Now, aside from Advanced Ritual Art coming out in this set, Birthright also came out in this set. So I have an extra way to summon back my normal monster. And now also, Neos being an elemental hero means I can utilize O Oversoul. So I have, in this deck, 10 ways to revive my elemental hero, Neos. Now, you also notice I had a couple dark monsters in there. That's because I got probably the best card in this format, in my opinion at least, and that is Crush Card Virus. So I've got a couple of these darks to use, use, use them to the absolute max. Crush Card, insane card. Now, I can also fuse with my Neos on the field. That's why I got a couple of Neos patients just in case I wanted to go the extra distance with abilities, because right now it's just beaters in my deck. And uh, Neo Space would give them the extra boost as well as make sure the fusion stick on field permanently. So I'm feeling pretty good about this deck. I can pump up big beaters pretty fast, pretty consistently, and I do have some flexibility. It's not just vanilla beatdown. Draft is done. Here is my deck list. Today I'm going to be going with a gadget strategy. Small monster count, I believe it's 14 monsters, not counting Cyber Dragon as a monster here, despite being a monster. And it's 25 defensive cards that will help me get advantage of my gadget. Strategy number one is obviously the gadgets. You don't want to play too many gadgets, okay? Because you have 12 with the giant rat getting the gadgets. And when you get one gadget, you kind of have access to all nine. So you don't want a hand where you just have four monsters and don't know what to summon. You never want that scenario to happen. So I made sure to get as little monsters as possible, as many ways to get the gadgets as possible. Leading on to strategy number two, a bunch of trap cards. These trap cards will help me protect the game with defensive cards such as Mirror Wall and Sakuretsu and Widespread Ruin that stop them from attacking like Shrink. And strategy number two being discard outlets like Lightning Vortex and Regeki Break, Karma Cut to gain advantage of the free draws I'm gonna have. Ultimately, strategy, adding all three together, is slowly win the grind game, slowly out advantage my opponent, literally attacking for 1200 at a time, very slow duel, no win con except out advantaging. And that's what we're gonna do all the way to the top. Let's go. Jesse. What's up, Steven? You don't wanna have my hand, right? That's the it is the key to victory. It is the brand new. Dual Knight deck box! Oh my! And you know what's in here? Uh, you don't have to finish deck. it. The deck that's about to 2 you in a best of one. My deck. The beautiful deck that is now available at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on TSX1.com. But you don't, don't touch it, you have to buy your own. Jeez, man. I was personally gifted a little bit. I was personally gifted this by Sam. I thought we were friends, man. I thought we can. Oh, we are. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> you gotta go on tsx1.com like everyone else, Jesse. And guess what? I have an offer for you. Mm -hmm. The winner of this match, I will put my Dual Knight deck box up for grabs. And the winner of this match will get it. And I'm not putting up anything? You are putting up something. You wanna know what it is? I'm listening. I don't want anything from you. I just want you to eat this defeat. And I wanna get this glory for Sam and Dual Knight. Do you accept my offer? Your arrogance with the best of you once again, Steven. May the best duelist of gaming win. Let me just uh, put, the, I definitely can't put this here in the eyes of uh, peasant duelists such as yourself. I know everyone would like to purchase this mat, but I gotta put this somewhere safe. Maybe in like a lock box or something. Uh, might maybe put this away from me. Thank you very much. And let the best duelist win. I think it'll be mine in a couple minutes, but. We shall see. Would you like to cut my deck? Sure. I will cut yours. And we will go high roll. Five, that is a solidly high number. One, that is a solidly low number. It is. So I have made the decision that, I'll go first, good luck. I will draw my six cards. Hmm, whoa, wait a second. Where'd you get those sleeves from? If you're such good friends with Sam, why don't you have those sleeves? I don't have an extra deck, I'm not cool like you. 
Where'd you get them from? Oh. Sweet. Can I can I sleep in my? Okay, okay. Tell you what. Tell you what. Before we get started, I don't already. I know we already handshake. I don't want to go back on my word. But if I win, I get your pack of sleeves. Deal? Steven, man. Okay, dude, you already said it. Your what? word means a lot. Nah. No, 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 Deal. Where can you get them, though? T T1.com? What's it called? What's the site called? Um, TS something. TSX1.com. That's there right. So go. that's where you get your sleeves and deck box right now. Okay, good. Best of luck, Jesse Carlton. I will no more submit. Green Gadget. The best card in my deck. Green Gadget, search the second best card in my deck. Oh, I think no. it me other. <laughs> Thank God. Because, you know, Green Gadget is actually the second one. Have you ever watched a Power Rangers as a child, Jesse? Well, you still are a child. No. Because you're not over 21 years old. And I am. I thought you were 20. I'm 22, man. Okay, close enough. I've seen each other during COVID, too. So I like... know, I know. Hmm, I will... Some choice here for the Pan Guard. I'm gonna take those sleeves of yours and sleeve my pendulum deck with it. I'll pass. My turn one, I summon a gadget, get a plus, and I set a bunch of back row. This is literally the strategy of my deck. I'm saving some cards in my hand that are literally all back row. I've opened broken. The best hand in this deck is a gadget or five traps. I'm gonna utilize this advantage slowly as the duel goes on, and I'm just gonna win the duel by out advantaging him right now. I'll draw for turn. Yes. In phase one. Jesse bought it. Are you scared of my green gadget? Mildly. Mildly. <laughs> Let's go. The card I'm thinking about setting here is a Morphing Jar. Discard the ones I have, get five new cards, and if I can catch Steven off guard, I can neutralize all the advantage he's gotten so far. There's a chance he can read its Morphing Jar, and he then kills it, and you know, I lose my Morphing Jar, I waste the turn. So instead of setting the Neo Space, I'm gonna activate it here. Now, this doesn't do anything, but I don't think Steven really knows what my cards do. They're pretty rogue, they're pretty old. So I think he won't read too much into this Neo space here into being a Morphin Jar. Um, and that's exactly what I want. I don't want him to set any of his balls on traps. I want to get the maximum value off this card. Now the other thing I want to think about is if I even set the Morphin Jar. I do have a Manju in my hand. Hopefully we'll see that soon when I discard my hand. And the Manju here could get me closer to my Fortress Bell combo. However, the one card I add will not be enough to complete the combo, so I'll be guessing which one I have to add. From that point, I can then attack with Green Gadget and crash both and kind of neutralize some damage. However, I swing into something like a Marowal or a Shrink here. I lose some damage, he normal summons a Gadget next turn and he pushes like 26. Now, this might not seem like a big deal. A lot of players, uh, when they're getting better, learn that life points doesn't matter that much. However, Gadget specifically is a pretty slow deck. Um, if you stay high in life points, all the cards come low value because they can't really capitalize that much on the momentum they gain from using their traps and their free bodies. I really need time to just stick a big body on the field because that's like how they, when they start to struggle. So I actually want to keep myself rather healthy, set the monster, and I think that is probably the best way to go. See how it turns out. I will activate Neo's space. Whoa! So you're the elemental hero Neos and all fusion monsters of this. They gain 500 attack points? That's correct. I'm so scared, man. Should be. Oh no. And I'll set a monster. Oh no. And I'll set two back row. Oh, two back row. Yeah. That's fine, I will draw. I they only gain attack, right? Not defense? Huh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay. But I know that's not a Neos because you did the high and you knew that and you're a good player. So I'm gonna assume that that's not a Neos monster. Well, yeah, because Neos level seven, and if I had level seven, I'd be in a little bit of trouble. That is true. That is true. I will normal Green Gadget. Yeah. And I'll utilize the effect of Green Gadget to add Mr. Red Gadget. Yeah. I'm literally sensing victory right now. When this deck goes first with draw one set five, is GG. I will enter the battle phase. Okay. You scared? Twenty-eight. I can take three. I will ones. attack with Green Gadget. Yeah. Morphing Jar effect. I know what Steven does. He gets all these discard cards when he has all his plus ones, like the gadgets. A very real chance I could have got Ryaki breaked there. So, happy this one's going through. I'm morphing Jar! Ah! I had Phoenix Wing Wind Blast set, but there's just no advantage. I didn't, like, I'm not gonna play around around a Morphing Jar. I'm thinking of Jesse's deck, and I know his deck, not fully, but I could assume what he's building. 
If he's playing Neo Space, then I did not expect a Morphing Jar. That caught me, but it's fine. The advantage is back to 5-5, five, five, but I'm gonna get back in this game ASAP. <laughs> I have a feeling that's a good sign. That is, that is, that is very sad. Oh, that is very sad. Is. That is very sad. Ooh, three games. That is extremely sad. So I see Jesse has an elemental hero, Niels. So obviously I know out of all the cards in this draft, as does everyone else in the draft. So if he's building a Neos deck here, he probably only has one or two of these elemental hero Neoses. I have a Karma Cut set. So my game plan here is I'm gonna get rid of that Neos once forever and he's gonna have 10 Reborn cards in his deck that do nothing. So hopefully he can get both of them out ASAP to get full value of this Karma Cut. But I think we have to be a little patient. And then, I mean, I'll attack you 1,400. That's fine. At least I called it. It wasn't a Neos monster. Wow, that is not cash money. Pass. Drop. A normal summon. Manju of the 10,000 hands. Oh, no. That will be really scary if I didn't have pulling the rug! Just be using the Yes! Yeah. I actually took it, so it wasn't used against me. Quite unfortunate. I will activate advanced report. I need to read. So if you if this card says you could special summon a ritual monster by sending normal monsters from your deck to the grave. Yeah. Wow, that is quite the card. I will have to allow that card to resolve. I'll summon. One of my favorite cards. I'll summon Fortress Whale. I send a level seven from deck to grave. Oh so my god. The Neos. Oh my god. That card is so powerful. Yes, okay. Got Shining Dragon out last time, and now I got my Dual Knight Dream here. Fortress Whale, summon. It's honestly so cool to me. I love this card so much. No particular reason other than the whales have just been my favorite animal since a little kid. And there's not that many whale cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! So, fell in love with Fortress Whale when I was younger and uh, it's been one of my favorites I've collected ever since. So let's get a win with this card now. So you're telling me that the effect does nothing? What will I ever do? Well, it just has no effect. Oh no. Next, I'll follow it up. Oh my gosh, I got one. Sure, okay. <laughs> Good play to do that first, so you don't draw into your Neos. I think I would've lost the game on the spot if I did. Because <laughs> I only played two. <laughs> Okay, so I kind of have a decision here to make. I have two Neos in the grave and two ways to revive it, Oversoul and Birthright. I can get super aggressive here. However, obviously I can get punished by some trap cards. Now, if I'm only gonna use one of them to kind of push a little bit and like play the slow game a bit, they both have upsides. If I use o Oversoul here, it means I get to save the Birthright for later. And uh, that means if he has DD Crow or anything to banish from my grave, I can chain the Oversoul to bring back the Neos. Now, the other benefit, if I wanted to use the Birthright here, is I would do something else first. I'd actually go activate a any chain link one card, like a spell or anything, just activate an effect, and then chain the Birthright. Now, what this means is this, the chain link two is I summon the monster. And if I summon the monster in chain link two, you cannot activate Bottomless Trap Ball or Torrential Tribute. Those cards can only be activated if the last thing that happened in the chain link was the summon. So I have to kind of choose between which of those I want to use. Next, I will activate O Oversoul. I don't know what this card does. Try an Elemental Hero monster in my grave that's a normal monster to special summon it. So I want to target Neos. Oh my. Fine. My Neos comes out. It's all good. All dandy so far. All dandy. Perfect. Needs one to the battle phase. Right. Neos will defend. Start attack. step of battle phase. <laughs> a threatening rule? No, I'm just gonna go. I'll chain birthright. Wait, this dies anyway. Okay. And then um, you just mentioned you only have one, two, two Neoses in your in your deck, right? Correct. From what I recall. 
So now you might be wondering why this whole play went down like this. I mentioned earlier that I want my Karma Cut to literally blow him out of the water, getting rid of all Neoses in, in play. I had to dust Tornado first because this is such a massive play that I could not allow that card to be 7 Tools of the Bandit or Solemn Judgment. So as long as, that's why I must dust Tornado ASAP first, just in case it was one of those, it was Birthright. And then when the, car, when the Neos hit the field, I knew it was game over from there because Karmica gets rid of everything. Now, it's my turn to put the nail in the coffin. So it'll be a shame if I Karma cut in. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> I will the debate a little bit. I will discard my Lightning Vortex and see you later, see you later to both of your Neoses. And then, holy crap. I don't know how I won this game from this point. Yeah, so I mean, I thought I was being smart. I, I honestly forgot about Karma Cut, but it, the, the play I did actually plays around Karma Cut because I can chain the one Neos and then I still have one in rotation at the very least. And that's what matters, but I gave away only played two, which I mean, he's smart. He knows I wouldn't play more than two. It's kind of stupid too, but now I kind of just have no win condition. I have the single Fortress Whale left on field. And let's be real, this is not enough to win the game. I'm on it, gonna need a miracle here. What cards work good with gadgets? Is a specific trap card that's a continuous ultimate offering. You didn't even have to answer that. I, I, I knew you were gonna get it, so I didn't want you to take the fire. You know? Okay. Ultimate offering. The one card I have in my deck to destroy my opponent ASAP. Ultimate Offering, for those who don't know, with Gadgets is broken. They probably got banned because of Gadgets, but you just summon Gadget after Gadget after Gadget, five normal summons in one turn. Uh, the, the end is near for Jesse. It's over. Wow, Ultimate Offering is crazy. He really just had a crazy hand there. Uh, to be frank, probably would have lost anyway, but this definitely puts me out of my misery a lot faster. And then I'll use the effect of Ultimate Offering to summon, use the yellow Gadget effect, to add green Gadget. It would take 500 points of damage. Oh no, what will I ever do? Thanks for the upstart goblin. Yeah, I know. And then, I will summon green gadget to search for red gadget. And then I will use red gadget to search for yellow gadget. Scared? Wait, so how many times do you pay? I have paid three times. Okay. I want to attack into Mirawa here. Don't be scared, Jesse. Main phase two. Wow, you're really good. Set a card face down. Okay. I'll pass my turn. I draw. I'll enter the battle phase. Damn. It's rank, isn't it? <laughs> Let me do some math. So this is 5,000. This is uh, 5,600. This is 5,900. This is 6300 and that is 6700 interesting battle phase i will activate phoenix wing wind blast for that oh. on your fortress oil pay your cost i will enter the battle phase well i already am in the battle phase and i will attack for game is that game my friend <laughs> gg thank you all an offering hey that was well played and uh Really well played, but yeah, give me those sleeves, baby. I didn't agree to that. That's understandable, I know. <laughs> As I said, what was that? Two turns, three turns, was that a world record or something? Sam, Soom, whoever's next, my Power Rangers are ready. Oh. Just lost two in a row to Steven. I think that actually puts me behind in our overall game records. Which I gotta say, it's quite disheartening. I don't like having a negative record for anybody. Well, that just means I'll have to keep winning this next time as we play. No more slacking from this point on. So, big brother, what's up? Listen, last match, we saw J Steven demolish Jesse yeah. in under five turns. Yeah, Jesse, I, I thought he was a world champion. Yeah, I thought Jesse was a world champion yeah, too. Like, like, I thought he was like the one of the best of the best. That's what I thought too. Not Steven under five turns. Like clearly, Steven might be the best. Yeah, I think Steven will be the best. Maybe. 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 Yeah, maybe so. Yes. But Jesse. you're about to lose in five turns, too. Good luck. Yeah, I don't know about that. Good luck, good luck. Yo, I have a question, though. Earlier in that duel, like, Steven was talking about, like, a deck box. Yes, the deck box yeah. is available tonight at 9pmBSD, TX1.com, yes. Yeah, you're talking about, I don't have one. Like, seriously. What do you mean? It's pretty nice. Like, I, don't I assume one. it's because uh, Sam likes me more than you. Terrible, brother. So I actually got you a reserve. Oh, you did? On the what? website, 9 KBST, you have to buy it. <laughs> okay? Guys, Duel Night Collections will be available today, 9 p.m. EST. You guys will get this wonderful play mat right here, deck boxes, sleeves, you name it. You guys will get it. You guys have to be ready tonight, 9 p.m. EST, because once it's gone, what happens? It's gone. Forever.
Mm. Alright, so we ready? Let's go. Oh, that's a big number. That's a, that's huge. I don't want. I don't want. I want to go first. Yes, three. No. Right, good luck, Sum. Good luck, Sam. Right, I start. Good yes. luck, brother. Oh, good luck. What is this hand, bro? Sky already won. Ah, oh, this hand is not good. All right, I'm gonna normal summon Sanji. My boy Sanji, good? Yep. Set one, set two, set three, and my turn. So of course, Sam is playing Six Samurais. Just a little history lesson for you guys. Sam's channel is called Team Samurai X1. The first best deck Sam ever played was Samurai. So of course, it just makes sense. Hey guys, it's Sam from Team Samurai X1. So today I'll be showing you guys a okay. Six Samurai deck profile. Sanji. What was Sanji? He's an 18 meter? 18 meter. Is it. If his card attacks, destroy the monster. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Yeah. If he has to control other six samurai. But I have to control oh. another six samurai card. Oh, so he's useless. Yes, he's, he's basically. He's, he's a beater right now. He's just, he's just a beater. Alright. That's nothing, nothing else. I have my turn. Alright, my turn. Yes, sir. Draw. Guys, I just drew Heavy Storm. He said three back roll. Let's go, storm it up! It's pretty good moves. Really? You're not gonna like this. Really? What is it? If, you, if you're not gonna like this at all, actually. Thank God, no. <laughs> You're not gonna like this. You gotta do something. Solid judgment. You gotta do something. I have to. Oh wow! <laughs> Four thousand. Four thousand guns just like that. Like you that. Like that? You did. I, I did. Wow, you're such a good Yu-Gi-Oh player. I'm uh, too good. This is the best Yu-Gi-Oh player in the world, I think, at uh, this point. I, I might be. Wow. Yeah. Eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Wow! Solid judgment. Ah, oh, I really want Heavy Storm, but that must means those traps are really important. Talk about dealings. Yeah. So, that means you don't, yeah. It's good for you too, no? It's good for you. Yeah, I guess. One second. I just got a great children. Um, come on, you just, you just, you just think it's... Bro. You join alone? Join alone. She, you're nice. Okay. I'm gonna set one. <laughs> Drag down. Card six. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna eliminate <laughs> two golds. And I draw three. I draw two. Two. Three. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so both goals, uh, both goals specials, right? Both goals specials. So, Do you have a response? It, it's it's something to me. One sec. Just confirm. No, one second. No, it's always confirmed. Do you have trench No. I'm gonna bomb this one of them. Okay. I'll actually bomb this trap on one of them. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Um, where's that one? Yep. We're also gonna use another special spell card. Drag down into the grave. Show me your hand, Sam. Please drag down to the grave. <sighs> oh, wow. Uh, well, yeah, well. Yeah, it's my silver. Wow. <laughs> um, United We Stand makes his monster pretty strong. I see Sam stalling behind that Swords of Revealing Light. He's scared, huh? You obviously know what, know what you're gonna pick, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna pick reinforcement in the army. Sure, okay, I'm down for that. I'm down to And then I'm gonna discard silver. No, no, you, you, you draw one first. Draw one. Oops. Sorry, draw. And then effective. Yeah, silver. Special. Wow, your hand was insane. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yep. Um, I think that's a mirror force. That's a mirror force, that would suck. Cool. Attack and you shall, you shall find out. Attack and I shall find out. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to set one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to my turn. Well. And look what we got. Our board is ready to go. No cards in hand, huh? No cards in hand. All right, so I'll draw for turn. So you have a sword to reveal the light. That was a big move. That was one turn. Set one? Yep. Swords? Set one. Oh, wow. My swords. Okay, so okay. okay, so all right. Good. Yep. Wow, that was one hell of a turn. That turn, Sum had heavy storm, card destruction, dark world dealings, drag down. He literally had every single combo piece to his disposal. And I'm at 4,000 life points right now. I'm facing against a Silva and a Gold that's on the field. I know Sum. Sum is kind of a little bit of a scaredy boy, you know what I'm saying? So this back row is gonna bluff him into oblivion, and I know soon he's not gonna attack. He's not going to attack. Water? Nope. Oh. 
You should have attacked. Another beast guy. Okay, so he is. It's he gains uh, eighteen hundred. No, eight hundred. Sorry, eight hundred. Yeah, yeah. So he's at uh, twenty-six. Enter battle. He's, he's still not the card does. Okay, attack. Yeah. Uh, follow me. How much is that? So you lose. I lose four hundred. Uh, three hundred. So four thousand. Yep. I'm at seventy-seven. Seventy. Seventy-seven. Yeah, but you're starting to go at 4,000? I am my yeah. turn. My turn? Yes, sir. Draw? Yep. Um. Mm. Excuse me, your hand was insane. Drag down, card destruction, heavy storm, double gold, silver. Yeah, man. If I had that hand, I would, I would never lose. Just letting you know. Holy, this must be your problem. Go. So that's one turn on swords. Yep, drop. Uh, I'm gonna enter battle phase. Yep. Deck. I'm gonna use uh, Deck Devastation Virus. Deck Devastation Virus, that's completely fine. I gotta attack him for 2600 damage to the face. It's pretty much over from here. Okay, so you're just gonna tribute off? True him? Yeah. So anything with 1500 or less attack? Will you draw for the next three turns? Yeah. I see it. True. Two. Yeah. I see your hand. And I, I see your hand for the next three turns. Go. Oh. I, I see now too. Yeah. So anything that's 1,500 or more? Less. Less. Attack? Yeah. True. Yep. Okay, so attack for 20, 20, how much? 2,600. Is that one mysterious card? Yep. Uh, actually... No, I'm not gonna set it. I imagine. Yep. Draw. I'm gonna set one. Yep. I'm gonna use drag down. True. I, I, I... So I knew Magic Cylinder was in his hand. I wanted to get rid of Magic Cylinder because my life points were already pretty low. I wanted to protect my life points. I said a brow. So yes, I said a brow. one. Yep. So you see this? 17. Thank you. So it doesn't die? Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. There's two on swords. Draw. Yep. Uh, I'm So you gain 16 now. So he's at 34. If you take this damage, it is lethal game. Wait, I, okay. Enter battle phase? Yeah. Attack for game? Who's attacked first? Uh, Aru. I'm gonna activate gateway dark world. I special summon one dark, dark world monster from my graveyard. I special summon. Just fine. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Tell me this. Okay. Toxic. Okay. 17. Uh, he's, he's at 30. 34. It'll be, it'll be exactly. Okay. Yeah. Well. You just said that. No, I didn't. You just said that. No, I didn't. 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 Don't try that. Oh my goodness, Sam had two solemns. What? In every single, it wasn't a mirror force, but it was a solemn. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm cheese. Solemn judgment, that's game. Six Samurais, all the way. Here we go. It was been there. It's been there, doggy. It's been there, doggy. It's been there, dog. It's been there. It's been there. It's been there. You know what I'm saying? I swear you just said that. No, I didn't. That last turn? No, I didn't. I said it with two. I, this is the one I drew up card destruction. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you had two judgments? How'd you lose? What do you mean? You had two judgments? You had card destruction, heavy. Well, all, you had, all you had to do is enter battle. That's and then yeah. that yeah. turn, yeah. You were just scared Sometimes, of Mirror Force for no reason. Was. Mirror so, Force. So not good. Oh my. Uh, it's okay. You're good. Uh, but you have Mirror Force. Yes, I know you do. I have Mirror Force in my deck. You know, he has it. Like, so oh yeah, my. Bro. What you have done about it? Like, so you're not ever going to attack ever? And I was 4,000. All right, guys, I'm so sad, but that's it for me. I love my deck. I want to go all the way, but my journey's not done. You guys can catch me on the Ultimate Losers Match on Patreon. So, of course, if you guys haven't joined the Patreon, I highly recommend you do that. There's so much raw, just unedited content there, and, of course, edited content, too. I suggest you guys go join the Patreon. Link is down below. And, of course, see me battle Jesse. Let me destroy the world champion in the Ultimate Losers Match and make him the Ultimate Loser. I'll see you guys there on Patreon, and I'll see you all there. 
So I'm facing Stevens in the finals. I'm, I know I'm playing against Gadget. It's probably gonna be my hardest matchup. I, 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 I'm gonna be completely honest. Steven's deck is a little bit more consistent in mind. Gadget just reoccurs itself really crazy. And I know that Steven has a bunch of back row. Guys, it's gonna be a tough battle, but I believe in myself and I can actually take this home. Let's do it. Steven! You know what? I expected you here in the finals. Me too, me too. I actually expected to see you in the finals yeah, too. Exactly. It's yeah, nice to see you here. Jesse was playing some sort of what will? I don't know, whale something, well, but you well, know. What was Soom playing? Uh, I think you just scared to attack for so no reason. He was, but Soom, that's my protege, man. I'm so glad he's doing well. <laughs> Next time he's gonna beat us, but not now. Yes. I'm rooting for Steven. Thanks. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's probably because you didn't give him a deck box, but you gave it to me. Of course, you're my boy, bro. Thank of course, you, bro. Of Thank course. You. Can I, I have you... my deck box, please? Oh, what a beautiful. I, I, I kiss it, right? Bro, kiss it? yo, did I give you a fuel sign with your deck box? No, can I have it? Yeah, of course. Oh. It comes with every deck box purchase. What? Tonight, 9 p.m. EST, you guys. Me, every deck box purchase comes with a field center. Yeah, this is like So could we like play with the field center while we play? Of course, bro. It's beautiful. Let's leave it in the middle. All right, but can I want to point to me because mine, it's not yours, it's mine now. Okay, okay. okay Honestly, just you. for the purpose of the clean sake, I think doing it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's, let's put it on the side. But guys, 9 p.m. EST tonight, deck box. Steven actually got the very first one, so here. Very right. first one. I'm gonna get the second one too before everyone at 9 0 Okay, ready? Steven, you ready? Let's do it. Good luck, bro. Good luck. I roll? Yes. Stop, stop, stop. Solid strategy. I'll four. just roll a five or six four. normally. Thanks, I'll go first. You rolled a six. You're actually the best player in the world. Big hugs. Wow. 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 Uh, normal summon yellow gadget. Yep. What is this one search? Uh, yellow gadget will search green gadget. Search so search green, right? Yes. Sure. Big fan of green gadget and yellow and red. Yep, yellow. Did red. I ever tell you about Poco? Uh, I almost said Pokemon, but Power Rangers before. Power Ranger. You want to know why I got my middle name of Jay? Pardon? You want to know why my middle name is Jay? Why? Why is it Jay? Because when I was a kid, I would always pretend to be Jason the Red Ranger because he's the coolest one. And then sure. one time they asked me what was my middle name, and I said Jason because I'm the Red Ranger. Really? Yeah, there's nothing to do with what we're playing. I'm, I'm actually, I would just like you to know. I'm actually Yellow Ranger, actually. A Yellow Ranger? Yes. Okay. Well, Yellow Ranger is going to defeat you today. Yes, I love Yellow Ranger. Yes, I'm a big fan of Yellow Ranger as well. Are you uh, Power Ranger Dino Thunder? Uh, Dino Thunder is for nerds. You know, have you watched Power Ranger Dino Thunder? Yeah, I only watch Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Tyrannosaurus, and that's the only Power Rangers I watch. Everything else is for nerds. Dino Thunder is the best one. Dino Thunder sucks. That's right. All my uh, Power Ranger enthusiasts in the chat will, will agree with me. I love I'll your bluffs, by the way. Sorry? I love your bluffs. Thank you. Uh, I'll pass. Dada. Steven, too, can play that game. <laughs> hey, Steven. That's all right. These are almost on an iron. Oh, no. That's not fun. Enter battle phase. Battle phase is fine. Iru attacking to you. Damage right. step? Yeah, damage step is good. That's fine. Do you think? Bro? <laughs> uh, what is that? Half attack, 850. 850? Yes. I believe the correct terminology is a uh, see ya. I'm cool for that. Yeah, All right. How long have you played the game, out of curiosity? Uh, why? Surely, like, like a week into the game, you'll learn you typically don't touch your back row before attacking. Oh, true. Right, right, right. Uh, I know, I just did it maybe like... It was like, a scare tactic. Yeah, it, it was, worked. <laughs> it worked. I'm yeah, scared. Well, now you, he knows you can't even like change your own shrink or anything, you know? No worry. No worry. I know. I know what I'm doing. It's part of the game, okay? My games. Yeah. My games. Instead, instead of fifth one in the main phase, do that. <laughs> Smart. Uh, 850, okay. to so 350 minus for your life points. Yep. This is very familiar. I have a bunch of sets and a monster, Sam has a bunch of sets. In this scenario, my deck cannot lose. When I gain control with the sets, I will always win with Gadget giving me a plus one every single turn. I'll draw. Alright, so you have Green Gadget in your hand, right? So I'm gonna activate, uh, of course, this card right here. You probably don't know what it does. Cloak and Dagger. I'm gonna declare Green Gadget. If you know someone Green Gadget, that card gets banished. Okay? What? So, have a good time. Cloak and Dagger, this does nothing. The beauty of the gadgets is yes, maybe the gadgets off the field, but they just replace themselves. So it really is not high value. It's an extremely low value card right now. As I said, in this battle of a bunch of sets and my gadgets, I will always win. Go, go Power Rangers, baby. Remove that monster and this card from play. Oh sure. man, what will I ever do? A normal summon green gadget? Yeah. Effect? Yep, I'll still search my red, ga my red ranger. See ya. Goodbye, green gadget. Vanishes it, right? Yeah. I think that gets banished as well. Yep. All right, here you go. This will go to my hand. Yes, sir. Hmm, tough choices now. I will attack you for 1,200 points of damage. <laughs> not much, not much, points. To, not much to do here. Not much to do here. This will yeah. be a very slow duel, my friend. 
Uh, actually, I'm gonna sack our Sue Army back, actually. Oh! On the yellow All gadget. Right. Let's do some training. Goodbye, yellow gadget. Yes, sir. You have performed admirably. I'll pass. So the reason why I sacrificed through the yellow gadget right here is I kind of wanted to level the playing field a little bit. I didn't want Steven to swarm the monsters. I didn't really want Steven to swarm the board with too many monsters. So I kind of wanted to level the playing field a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Sakuretsu armor, just like the cloak and dagger earlier in the duel, extremely low value against a gadget. This is the beauty of having no boss monsters. All my monsters are boss monsters. If one goes, another comes. Just like 19 seasons of the Power Rangers. Let's go. Draw for turn. Wow, so one card for, oh, no, actually, I'm gonna listen to Jesse. <laughs> burial. Premature burial. I'll pay $800 for costs. That's fine. Are the Iru? That's fine. Iru, attack for 17. I will take it. Sure. In this scenario, I could very easily deal with this Iru. All cards in my set could deal with this Iru. But I have other plans for this Iru, and there are plenty of ways to get rid of this. That is the beauty of my deck. No monster my opponent has poses a threat with my 25 back row. Yeah, 63. I'll right. set one card face down and my turn. I will draw. I will. Summon red gadget and activate the effect of red gadget. Yes, sir. Just yellow. Oh. I'll have to. I'll have to pass. Pass? Yeah, 63 to my 68. 50. Yes. Enter battle phase. Attack. Can this be done damage step? Damage step. Mirror wall. Mirror wall. Oh shit, he's solving judgment. So you can't MST it, because it's damage step. So the only answer here really is solemn judgment. Just let it go, my mans. I'm gonna judge that. Oh, I'm gonna set the tools that. <laughs> that's why I have the deck box and you have the deck box. <laughs> And that's crazy. Nice solid of judgment, Sam. I've been saving the seven tools since turn one. In a battle of sets, what did I say? My deck will always win. Sorry, Sam, but you're simply outclassed by the best duelist in the planet at the moment. To be honest, guys, my thought process here is that I need to judge in the mirror wall because I don't have much monsters to my disposal at the moment, and Iru needs to stay on the field. But unfortunately, that seven tools, <sighs> man. And guys, Iru is 1,700, so gadgets have a hard time outing any monsters that's over 1,400 attack. And the fact that he just seven tools my judgment. <laughs> I uh, used to do uh, lessons as a kid. Wow. And I really enjoyed it. You're actually the best player in the world, Steven, I think. Honestly, I hear nothing but facts. I'm gonna set one card face down and then I'm gonna end my turn. <laughs> Hold on, this is some weird life points. Okay, 34, 12, okay, to 53, okay. Yeah. okay. I end my turn. I'll draw. Are you paying 2,000 for Mirror I will not. Okay. What am I six out of my monsters, you know what I'm saying? I just don't want to you say don't, You don't need those ones. I will summon Yellow Gadget and I'll activate the effect of Yellow Gadget. That's fine. Yep. And then I will enter the battle phase and attack you for 2,500 points of damage. I'll take my 925. Insane. And then I will have to pass my turn. I'll set one. Okay, jump turn? Yes. What the heck is this, dude? I'm right, my turn. Enter battle phase. Attack you with yellow gadget. Your favorite. <laughs> mirror force. Now I could have summoned a monster and attack, attack, but you have to respect the mirror force in situations like this where you have so much advantage and I'm plus four right now. So I just attack, that's fine. Main phase two, I'm gonna set a card. It's all good. Mirror force is a good card, keeps you in the game, but my advantage is too high to lose right now. You got me there, my friend. You got, got you. me there. Got you there. I did expect there was a possibility of some some uh, shenanigans going on here, so I had to prepare myself. I didn't want to summon another, you know? So which one do I know that you searched so far? That's your head? Just like... Uh, honestly, I don't know. Okay. Green. Just green, right? Yes, only green, only green. Sure. But judging from my response of don't know, you could assume that I have one more. True. Sure. Because of how I said that. True. Sure. Go ahead. Nice giant rat. Alright, don't play a giant rat. 
Roll up. That's fine. I'll search Iru. Just want to read this. Okay. You're going to summon Iru? Yes. On the summon, the way you smile tells me that you have a Grandmaster in your hand. He didn't actually roll the last turn. So you do have a Grandmaster in your hand. So on the summon of this, I'm going to actually reject the break. Sure, just got cost. Target. GG. Really? Oh, Solomon? That's all right. That's fine. What's 925 have that? Uh, 412. 412.50? Yeah, 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 you're 412. <laughs> I get 420. Yes, 420. What? So what, what else I like? <laughs> Five, 512. You're 512. I'm 512, right? Yeah, you're 512 to 5300. 412. 412. Yes, 412. Okay. <laughs> Did you have the Grandmaster like I called? Huh? Did you have the Grandmaster like I, like I called? No, I don't. Okay. No, not that good, bro. Okay. Um... It's probably a giant rat, right? Nope. It's, a giant, it's, a giant, it's definitely a giant rat. It, it, it's, does the gadget trigger on flip something? No. I, I pass. In this scenario, Sam fears a giant rat. He didn't summon a Grandmaster, telling me he probably has a Shogun Sheehan in his hand. So this is a great scenario. As I mentioned, my whole hand just deals with Iru and a bunch of monsters. So the end is near for my friend here. So Steven set one and I didn't attack with Iru. The reason why is because I know Steven plays Giant Rat in his deck. Iru has amazing ability to destroy any face down defense position monster in battles, but I must control a six samurai monster. Only time that Iru will get value if there's another six samurai monster on the field and I don't want his Giant Rat to trigger off. So I'm not gonna attack. I'm gonna wait a little bit. I will flip the Koichi and draw one. Wow, you're the nicest player in the world. No, regardless, yeah, you were drawing one anyways. Yes. It's a lot of cards in hand, man. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like it. Facts. Next, I will summon Green Gadget and activate the effect. Yep. Now, you know, when you have your opponent right by the balls, and you, need to, you need to win. Yeah. You need to go for it. True. Shout out my man, Zoom, that did the opposite. Yep. So I'm going to go for it and go for game. Go here. I'm going to activate Creature Swap to take your eye room. Creature Swap! No! Yes. And then I'm going to enter the battle phase. Actually, I want my green gadget to win the game. I'm going to go Iru to attack the Dekoichi. Yes. And then you're going to be at 112 life points. Green Ranger, none of our favorites, but she's still cool. Attack for game. Okay. <laughs> GG. Oh, yeah. You grand, my freaking Shogun, man. Oh, my God. This card sucks. No, as soon as, so, it, as, soon as it wasn't Grandmaster, it was 100% Shogun. Bro, I didn't even see Grandmaster, man. Oh, my God. Grandmaster, bro. One, two, three, four. I can't lose. I got more championships than LeBron. How many, how many championships do I have? Uh, too many to count. I don't even know. MJ, you're next. All I know is that next week I'm winning again and then again and again. And guess what? Guess what, guys? Wanna know why I did it? Wanna know why I won? Cause you guys, you guys, the guys, yell your comments because that's so amazing. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. kidding. You guys had nothing to do with my victory. It was all me and my amazing dual like deck box. Thank you. By the way, if you guys would like this exact deck box signed and kissed and delivered by the pen god, just comment down below on why I'm the best player in the planet. It's nothing but facts. And I'm gonna pick one of you guys, and I'm gonna ship my very own Dual Knight deck box to one of you guys. So flood the comments with why I'm the best player on the planet. See you guys next episode. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Dual Knight. It's such a blast to make these every single time, and we're so happy that you enjoy them. If you guys wanna see what kind of goes into the decision-making process for building the draft, that's on Patreon as well. As well as you get to see me and Soom duke it out for our uh, ultimate loser match. Thank you guys again. I'll see you soon on Duel Night. My journey today ended early and I'm sad, but there's always next time. I'm glad I was on this episode. It was such a good set. I think all of our decks were pretty cool, pretty fun, so much fun combos. And I cannot wait to come back on the next Duel Night episode. I'll see you guys there. Soom out. <sighs> Congratulations, Steven. <laughs> Right now, me and Steven are going to finish our finals match right here on Patreon. Guys, check out the ultimate finals match on Patreon in the link down below. Join, guys. Let's do it. Guys, 
gadgets for six samurais extra duels join right now and you know soom and um jesse button over here they're playing in the ultimate losers match right now Niels versus dark world who's gonna win find out on the patreon in the link down below and remember guys tonight at 9 p.m est the duna collection is officially launching so guys stay the time on your phone because you guys know how it is once a deck box sold out it is sold out forever and the collection is only gonna be available until the end of the weekend uh, but to Last time I dropped the deck box, the deck box sold out in 15 minutes. So guys, if you guys want to celebrate the huge success that Duel Night has become over the past year, save the date, save the time. Tell your mom, your friend, your brother, your sister, your boyfriend, whoever. Get his deck box today in the link down below. I'll catch you guys 9 p.m. EST during the live stream. All right, guys, so that's pretty much this episode of Duel Night. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.